Hey everyone, it's DJ Case UK here, back with another video on Acid Pro. I also make videos for other Sony Creative software such as Soundforge, Spectralears and Vegas. So if you're interested in learning more about creative software from Sony, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I've been using these products since they were first released and have years of experience using them. I've produced many tunes, some of which you can find on Beatport and I've been mixing and mastering for over 20 years. You can find all my social links in the description. And with that being said, let's get into this video. So once you've downloaded a plugin that you want to use, how do you install them and make sure that they're working correctly and compatible inside ACID Pro? This all depends on what type of plugin you have downloaded, how to install it and how to open it. Many visual help plugins, you can simply drag and drop the file into your VST folder. The file is usually dot DLL. Many visual help plugins you can simply drag and drop them into your VST folder. You really should make a dedicated folder for your VST plugins as soon as you set up your computer and install your door because most plugins will just simply be a file that you can drag and drop into your VST folder. To install plugins which are more for practical use such as instruments, you will tend to have to install these using a setup file which you can run and install your plugin into the VST folder by selecting the folder you want to install it into. So it really depends on what kind of plugin you're trying to install as to how you might install it. But it will either be a .dll file that you can drag and drop into your VST folder or it will be a setup file that you can double click on and install into your VST folder. Another thing you're likely to come across when installing plugins using a setup file is what components you want to install and the way it works is that all of these are the plugin that you're wanting to install. They all do the same thing and it just depends which software you're using and how good your computer is as to which one is compatible. So for ACID Pro 7 or anything below that then the files that will work with ACID Pro is VST or VST2 and then depending on your computer you want to go for either 32-bit plugin or 64-bit plugin. If you're using anything above ACID Pro 8 then you can install VST3 again either 32-bit or 64-bit depending on your computer and any of these will work as long as your computer can handle it and depending on the version that you have. They all do the same thing and if you also get a choice of AAX plugins you don't need to install those they're only for Macs, uh, for Pro Tools and Logic and you'll find with most plugins you won't even have an option for um, Macs which is why I've always produced on PC because there's more plugins available on PC than there is for Mac. Another thing you might have an option to install is presets and that is when you have an instrument plugin there are preset sounds that you can have often the presets are designed to show you what the plugin is capable of so a lot of the presets will show you all the different things that the plugin can do so it's worth getting the presets uh, just to see what the plugin can do before you start making your own sounds and playing around with it. You may want to install those if you have no experience with sound design and not used to making your own sounds then you can use the presets to learn from the presets. So for ACID Pro version 7 I'm going to install uh, VST2 and I'm going to install 32-bit and 64-bit uh, mainly because 32-bit will definitely work with ACID Pro but I also have Cubase so I'm just going to go for both of those and and that should be fine. Turn off the other ones and also install the presets and then just click next. To see if your VST plugin has been installed correctly 
and compatible to use inside ACID Pro depends on what type of plugin it is. For visual help tools and enhancement tools then you can assign these to tracks when you click on the add effects button. If your plugin has been installed correctly and compatible it will show them here. If the plugin has failed it will also show you this information by clicking on the failed folder. If it's an instrument then you'll need to create a MIDI track which you can then assign that instrument plugin and insert in a soft synth. If your plugin has installed correctly in the right folder and it is compatible you should be able to see it on the list when you insert soft synth. And if you've not installed correctly or the plugin hasn't worked and not showing in ACID Pro and you've tried to reinstall it it's recommended that you remove any plugins which have failed to load or been ignored. To do this you might need to uninstall the plugin or just simply remove the file from your VST plugin folder. You should also reset the ACID Pro cookies by going into your app data folder which is found in your users folder and then select the, the app data for ACID Pro and remove these files so that ACID Pro does not remember these files. This is easier than reinstalling ACID Pro. It will effectively wipe the memory of ACID Pro and any files that have been opened. This will help you prevent crashes by removing any files which have failed to load. Be sure to subscribe to see the plugins which I recommend using with ACID Pro. I've spent many hours finding the ones which work best. That's it for this video, thanks for watching, see you on the next video.